no, uh, to, to be honest, um, I, uh, so for me as an assistant director, like, so most of the time at Crunchyroll, like we have 12, excuse me, 12 full-time directors because we have 12 studio staff. And for an assistant director, um, they've been kind of changing things a little bit lately, so I can't really like describe what they've been changing because I don't even really know. Um, but at least for me, uh, I would come in whenever the director like either wasn't available, because some of these directors are still active, and some of these directors are still doing conventions and stuff like that. So some of them might be heading out to a con on a Thursday, and they just don't have anybody to come in to direct the shows like while they're gone. So my job is to come in, and whenever they're not available, like I'll direct, um, like maybe I'll come in during the day, or if we have overflow, like say there's an episode that has a bunch of characters, One Piece for example, One Piece has a gazillion big characters, <laughs> nameless characters that you just hear in the background that are like, oh man, Luffy, and then they just leave, you know, and so they'll be labeled like male A, male B, like, like male pirate A, male pirate B, sometimes it'll go to like male pirate C, sometimes it'll go to like male pirate A, B, because it's like we have to like read you know, there's that many bits. Um, so when that happens and there's not enough time during the day, I'll come in at nighttime and we'll record some of that stuff because we're on such a tight schedule that we need to release it weekly. So I'll come in at night most of the time and just kind of direct these actors. Um, I won't do any of the casting that is primarily for the head directors. Um, and I won't do any of like, scheduling because that's that's for 